everybody should care about the ocean. Just imagine Earth without one. <laughs> We'd have a planet a lot like Mars. No ocean, no life. No blue, no green. A lot of people are really concerned about what's happening to the green, to terrestrial life. But everybody needs to understand that all life depends on the existence of the ocean. The greatest threats to the ocean today, well, some would say it's what we're putting into the ocean, the high levels of pollution, the toxins, the ocean acidification issues, the excess carbon dioxide that not only goes into the atmosphere, but is entering the ocean in quantities so large that the natural systems that would normally accommodate it and turn the carbon dioxide into, through photosynthesis, oxygen, and food, too much means acidification, that the carbon dioxide in excess becomes carbonic acid. Just bad news for the ocean, bad news for us. Some would say that the biggest problem is what we're taking out of the ocean every year on the order of a hundred million tons or so of ocean wildlife, all carbon-based units. We're clear-cutting the oceans in the same way that over the centuries previously and the <laughs> millennia previously, we've clear-cut the land, diminishing forests and wildlife. Now we're turning our attention for the first time to the sea. But all things considered, I think that the biggest problem comes down to complacency born of ignorance, of people simply not knowing, of still believing somehow that the ocean is big enough, vast enough, to be able to recover no matter what we put in or take out. I can't eat fish anymore or any seafood because I know too much. I know the consequences not only to the ocean and the health of the ocean, but also how that comes back to affect me personally. I just can't eat them anymore. I appeared on the Colbert Report, and we began a little conversation about this. And Colbert being Colbert, Stephen Colbert, said, well, if I can't eat fish anymore, how am I going to get my mercury? <laughs> it's, that's another issue, another good reason to question whether you should continue to eat ocean wildlife. Or if you do, know what you're eating, know where it came from, know what its name is. Not a mindless chunk of fish in a fish sandwich or catch of the day. It could be any of 20,000 different kinds of vertebrate creatures. And we don't do that with birds or mammals. You kind of know when you're eating lamb or chicken or beef, mostly. <laughs> there may be some mystery meat circulating out there, but with fish, it's all mystery, mystery meat. Oh, and then the, the so-called vegetarians who say, oh, I, I, I don't eat meat, I just eat fish. Oh, if I were a fish, I would be outraged at that comment. The ocean is our life support system. What we do to the ocean, we do to ourselves. Trash the ocean, we trash our future. Take care of the ocean, we're writing ourselves an insurance policy. But we're just at that critical point in time when it's finally beginning to come into focus, not just for scientists, but for the public at large, and even for a few enlightened policy decision makers, that the ocean is the cornerstone of our economy, of our health, of our survival, our security, but mostly it gives us life.